Hello Rosie. Nice to see you. Right. Can everyone hear me okay? I'll try and explain. Um, oh, good, you can. Um, yeah, apologies for the for the way it looks. It's really old school, but because um, Crystal are a bunch of dicks and they won't update or like remaster the games, this is the best that we can do on our PC and with my current recording equipment and stuff. So, uh, so yay to Jay for setting this all up. <laughs> But yeah, I'll try my best to explain to you, Rosie, as I go along um, and see how, see how well I do explaining it. I might be a bit biased because obviously this is like my favourite game of the franchise, so... <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. I'll just let this one, one last demo play just to get a few uh, people in. I'll see if anyone else will, uh, will join. It took me ages to get on because I was trying to like write a decent um, decent status like come and hang out and, and I was just not getting anywhere and my phone was being really slow and I was like nah. So yeah hopefully that worked. I think I got the wrong uh, Put the wrong link in my bio on Insta, so I might just change that quick. La la la. Don't mind me. I will start the game eventually, so... I'm sure you're all just itching for me to get started. That work. Oh, no. That might be better. Meh. I just love the music. I hope you're enjoying the music, Rosie. It's very atmospheric. Does it keep saying dog? <laughs> yes, mummy is shooting dogs right now. Oh, I'm not shooting dogs. That's Lara shooting dogs right now. Okay, let's get started. See, we press new game, Rosie. <laughs> and this is the start of Lara's adventures. Yay! Tell me if there's like any echo or any like bad levels of sound or anything. <laughs> close. I would love to be close to being Lara. I tried, but I failed miserably. Got the... Uh... <laughs> How bad does the cutscene look in this. It's awful. Hopefully, like, because I'm actually going to record um, the game eventually for my channel once I've done, like, Last of Us and Last of Us Part 2 when that's out. So <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so hopefully by then, by the time I get around to actually recording this prop play, um, we might be able to sort something out so it looks a bit better. Because originally I played it on console for my last channel, and the while well, you didn't have all this, it was on the like full on the screen. It just looked a bit pixely because obviously the PC version's a bit smoother. As I'm talking through Lara, just shooting everyone. With her poo braid. Hell yeah. She's so badass. Love her. Right. And they go straight into it. I don't even have a loading screen. I'm used to there being a loading screen. Okay. I know the joystick works on this, but I'm using the D-pad because that's how I play Tomb Raider. 
So, and she runs a lot faster than the PlayStation version. So you have to like jump over all the traps and stuff, Rosie. And then she looks up to give you a hint on where you need to go, but we know there's a secret here, so we have to go and get the secret. And again, it's all about jumping and leaping and grabbing. It is very Indiana Jones, yes. I don't know if you know the um, the actual story of uh, of when they were actually designing Tomb Raider. They wanted to make a sort of Indiana Jones type game, but then they were like, "No, we're going to get sued if we come out with a with a guy um, raiding tombs." So uh, so we have to um, we have to make it a woman, or they decided to make it a woman. And the rest, as they say, is history. Now oh, I can hear the hear the bats. Oh, another one. Again, another secret. I know this level pretty well. <laughs> I didn't have a save card when I first got a PlayStation, so uh, so I played this level a lot. Also, I was too scared of playing the other levels. <laughs> I was very young at the time. I was like 10 when this first came out. Oh no, I was 11, but still, still young. There does, uh, we do get bigger enemies eventually. They're just slowly easing you into <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> I remember it took me so long to actually like get through these rooms when I was younger because I was absolutely terrified. I never really played these sort of like realistic games we can call this realistic but uh, yeah I was used to playing like Mario and Tetris and stuff so actually having this sort of thing where you can actually have things jump out at you used to scare the absolute crap out of me. Yep, she's a pro. There we get big enemy along here. <gasps> That's what I love as well, auto aim. She does like to kill the soft fluffy animals. This is this is the game that got me into the fact that like you just have to search every nook and cranny to find everything. Ah. No. There you go. I can't go the long way around. I can't like just jump and run across these bridges. I just have to cut corners every way, every way I can, and then I walk into things. <laughs> I haven't played this in a long while, actually. I haven't played this since um, before Bubs was born, I think. It's just really difficult to be able to play it. Because obviously I can't... I haven't got... There's no version for the PS4. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, it goes this. I mean, this um, level is quite grey. It's very yeah, very familiar and like really similar. Um, but then you get more colour as you go along. I remember um, trying to get my sister to play this because when I first got, again, when I first got the PlayStation, um, we had to have it downstairs in the living room. So obviously I very rarely got to play it. And my sister really wanted to go because she thought I was hogging it. So um, so I showed her how to play. And this is as far as she got. She got up to this room and she just ran into the room. And I was like, no, you don't run into the room because there's wolves waiting for you. She was like, what? There's wolves? And then all of a sudden these wolves just jumped out and she just screamed and threw the controller at me. <laughs> and that's the one and only time my sister has played Tomb Raider. That I know of, anyway. <laughs> is it me or is the soundtrack broken? Because I, I just thought I, haven't, I didn't get a secret chime there. Yeah, um, the only other copy I have of this, I can't, obviously I have the original. Oh, you can't hear the music. Oh, it's like atmospheric anyway. It's the, what would you call it? Oh, I just call it atmosphere. Well, that just sucks because the music's great. Composer's an arsehole, but the music's great. <laughs> When gaming used to be simple. Mm -hmm. Hello. It's going okay. I've uh, just finished level one. Let's see what my time is. Nearly eight minutes. I could have done better, but at least I got all the secrets. <laughs> and to the next level. See, this is why it used to... used to scare me loading into the second level because of these walls would just come at you. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting to tell the story, I keep getting distracted. So... Uh... <laughs> So as they haven't remastered these games, it's the only way you can really play them is obviously if you had like a PS1 or a PS2 that still works or um, PS3 that's backwards compatible and um, or you could buy it on the store, PlayStation Store for PS3. You can't get it for PlayStation 4. So that's the only real way I've been able to play it other than on the PC. But obviously this is the only way I get to play it on PC. Um, I'm sure there's other better ways of doing it, but like I said, this is my first real um, escape into into PC gaming and, and live streaming anyway, so that's why it doesn't look as, uh, as professionally laid out as it probably could. <laughs> but then if I played it on the PS3, it would look really pi like just pixelated and the graphics just aren't that great. Yep, exactly, DOSBox. Yeah, I can't play them on um, on my phone. I need I need bigger controllers. <laughs> like I think I played it on my iPad, and I, I got on quite well with that. But um, but yeah, not on not on my phone. Phone's too small. 
don't really need that. I can never remember. That just opens that door, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going back out this way. And I think this is a great argument as to why um, Crystal or Square just really need to remaster these games because it's just such a good game. And there's so many like new generations of players that are just missing out on it because it's just so difficult to be able to play. But I know personally it's because uh, <laughs> Crystal just feel threatened by the uh, by the OG Tomb Raider. There's the secret chime. Heard it that time. Where is it? Yeah, this this was literally like a last minute thing. So um, so I know there's stuff out there like that the community have done because obviously can't rely on the company to actually do it for us, can we? So. Like I said, this was literally like a last minute thing just to see if it would run. And this is how we got it to run on our PC. But um, but I'm hoping to be able to do like live streams, not maybe of this game, but of other games, like PC games at least. So, um, so we're definitely going to just fine tune everything just to make sure it is actually just easy for me to, to do. And it doesn't take my husband three hours to try and sort out. <laughs> I literally woke up this morning and was like, hmm, I feel like playing some Tomb Raider 1 today on live stream. Make it so! <laughs> yeah, so we have to go by official channel, seeing as uh, my hubby works for, uh, for Square. Also, I need uh, new recording equipment. <laughs> I am so demanding. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I can get... Because um, I'm, I'm using Elgato, but this is like quite a few years old now. It's at least eight years old, I think. The Elgato that I've got. So I'd want to get the, the new one in the next couple of months. Just makes it easy because there's so much delay as well between what I'm playing and what you guys are seeing. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Yeah, that's really nice of you. Hope you're never embarrassed by any of the games that I might play. Yeah, I'll hold you to that when I get out my Sims 4. <laughs> I have no shame <laughs> when it comes to my gaming. Oh yeah, Jay managed to do that. Jay is the master when it comes to Steam stuff for Square Games. You've played Sims 1 and 2. <laughs> I used to, Sims 2 was like my absolute favourite. And even though I, I'm starting to really love um, Sims 4, it's still, there's something about it. It just doesn't have that something. Yeah, it just doesn't have the same feel to it that Sims 2 does. But then I, I can't go back to Sims 2 because you've got so many like restrictions and limit limitations to what you can do. God, I, I've never actually played Lemmings. That's probably a really bad thing to to have to say. But yeah, I've never played it. But I think it came it came at a time when I was just obsessed with Tomb Raider, and Tomb Raider was the only game I played. Yeah. <laughs> 
You shot to the front. <laughs> I I have a feeling it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to rectify it, see if I can do like a whole retro gaming live stream series. See if we can find all these old games and I can play them. That'd be fun. <laughs> if you can find a system that I can play that will work on, then yeah, definitely. All the bats. See what I mean now, um, Rosie, by colour, getting a bit more colour into the game. Have you? Oh, okay. We'll have to see if we can uh, find it. Forgot to mention when we when uh, I took Lara swimming. That, uh, that I remember the first time, or well, because uh, you have a training level. This is obviously for Rosie, because Rosie's never played the game. Um, yeah, you have a training level where you actually go to, you start in Lara's Manor, and it shows you, like, you go through all the controls and stuff, so you get to learn how to control Lara and things. And at the end, she has, um, like, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, so to speak, and you just go swimming and she teaches you all the swimming um, controls. And I used to spend forever just going swimming. Oh, this is just so much fun. This is so cool. I get to get her to swim. <laughs> I'm going the right way. I am. Hey. Oh, bless her. <laughs> Hi, Lara. What? <laughs> yes, I have a friend called Lara. <laughs> so you wouldn't think I played these, uh, this game a lot, would you? <laughs> In fact, it's a nice and shiny hot day outside and I'm inside playing Tomb Raider, which is basically just my childhood, really. <laughs> I spent most of the summer holidays trying to block out all the sun from my room so I could uh, actually see what was going on in the games. It used to be so dark. <laughs> yeah, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm such a noob. Don't know what I'm doing at all. So you were playing Lemmings, I was playing Tomb Raider. <laughs> Only difference. <laughs> mm. <laughs> them gaming skills. I think you'll like the next level, uh, Rosie. Again, it's funny to think that there's some, <laughs> there's a friend of mine that's so unfamiliar with these games. <laughs> right. This is a bit that always annoys me. Um, not really shiny, no, but it is pretty cool. It's the level that I actually saw my friend's brother play when I went to their house and I was like, oh my god, what is this game? I must have this game in my life. And then for Christmas I got it. I think there might be shiny things in the level. Oh, oh alright. Oh, you're dead. He's dead, yep. Yeah. 
wrong way. No, um, but yeah, it was the next level that actually I was like, oh my god, you actually get to play a woman in a video game. And she's shooting shit, this is just so cool. I won't say what she was shooting because that would be a massive spoiler because Rosie's not played it. <laughs> Took me ages to actually play that level because I was actually terrified. <laughs> Uzis. That's it. The one thing I am pleased about is the fact that I can actually use a PlayStation controller to do this. I think that's why I haven't tried with um, the PC version for like ever, because I need to. I need a controller. <laughs> By that I mean a PlayStation controller. Here we go. Whee. And it goes right into it. I, I need to get used to that. <laughs> There's no loading screens. <laughs> All right. I have to do this because this is like my favourite part. Yeah. It took me years to work out how to do that. And I mean years, literally years. And when me and my friend found it out, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's me looking at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Stop distracting me, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I I think I tried once or twice because I was, again, I was in the position where I couldn't use the PS3 or something like meant that I couldn't actually play Tomb Raider and I really wanted to play it. So I tried to get the PC version. I was like, I don't have a controller to play with, so I would just use the PC controls and I just could not do it. I was all over the place. I am in stream manager, yes. Why do you ask? Huh. Oh, hang on. Don't misjudge that one. I'm going to show Rosie something fun in a sec. Once, uh... Once I get somewhere I can do it. I could probably, probably could have done it there, but then I forgot. <laughs> um, it's showing me stuff. I don't know how accurate it actually is. It might be a bit delayed. But yeah, it's pretty good because obviously I've, I can't see a timer, so I don't know how long I'm actually playing for. Um, oh yeah, that's it. I'm trying to remember where I'm going. Hey! See, AJ, I know you're going to be like the biggest judge of <laughs> how I'm actually streaming this. I said to Jay, AJ's going to come on and be like, well, see, you should have done this, this and this and tried this and then downloaded this. <laughs> Yeah, it's got, um, yeah, it's got how long my session's been, uh, how many viewers, how many views and how many followers I've got. Doesn't say me who's, doesn't tell me who's online. That might be a, something I have to play around to see. I'm all new to this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it was Jay that found stream manager anyway. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> I was so happy I got it running for streaming because I've been dying to play it, like to live stream it. And I've just been moaning about how uh, how this just shows how they desperately need to sort out a remaster. It's, what, it's got to be one of the most famous game franchises out there. And it's probably the only one that has never had a remaster. And they just think they can fob us up, off with like a second class remake. Ugh. Um, 
Forgot you were there. <sighs> See, this is mum brain. The fact I'm actually forgetting where things are. All right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look the greatest, but it's it's possible. I hope Rose is still watching this. Cuz now you get to see the the big reason I uh, started playing this game or the reason I became obsessed with this game. Oh, he's about to arrive. There he is. My first uh, intro, yeah, da, da, da. <laughs> my first intro to the T-Rex was um, my friend's brother hiding in here with the shotgun and you just watched like the T-Rex the just walking up and down because he was too scared to come out. <laughs> and I think I did that for the first few years and now I'm like, nah. Pistols, I can do it, it's fine. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I completely forgot in my fluster to get all the... Um... All the posts out was to share this on Survivor Reborn. Completely forgot. Oh, thank you, AJ. Although I'm a bit, <laughs> a bit far in now. <laughs> Although to be fair, like um, Survivor Reborn is more of a classic uh, fan base anyway. Would be nice to get some um, reboot fans in who've never even seen the original. Team Raider before, you know, give him a bit of an education. Thank you. Thanks, guys. This one has a little bit more colour as well, Rosie. <laughs> I just find it weird that it doesn't have all the all the music. Like when the T-Rex comes out, I'm used to it being like da 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 da. <laughs> like the music that used to freak me out whenever I heard it. It's like, oh, what's coming? awkward when it just like closes in on Lara's boobs. Right. 
So how far do you guys think I'm going to get into this game? So it's a two hour stream. So... I think I'll get to like St. Francis Folly. Like, I don't know if I'll get to finish St. Francis Folly. Lovely, thank you, AJ. See if we'll get anyone. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna it's definitely gonna be St. Francis, isn't it? That's when my skills in this game start to lag in terms of knowing where the secrets are and stuff. <laughs> like I said, I played these the first three levels so many times. And not having a memory card when you first get the game is uh means you get very used to the beginning of the game. <laughs> Trying to think level six. That's uh That's one after St. Francis Folly, I can't even think of it now. What? I can't believe I completely forgot to kill these guys. Even though they're running around and I can hear them like yelling at me. So what happens when I live stream? I'm not fully focused. I'm trying to think of one after St. Fra um, Francis Folly. Um, is it the Colosseum? Might be the Colosseum. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I know it's a sandy or kind of sandy level. <laughs> I don't think it's Palace Midas because you start that one off in the swimming pool. I'm pretty sure that leads on from the Colosseum. But those are like some of my favourite levels. I can't actually think of what my favourite level is in this game actually. What, um, this level or this game is your least favourite? Right, this is for Rosie, is she still watching? Hey! Again, I was super excited when I saw that. <laughs> First game is your least favourite! I, I, my opinion on you has completely changed now, AJ. I don't even think I know you anymore. <laughs> I think th it's this one and um, Last Revelation for me that are my favourite. But I think this one is like just, just tips um, as my favourite from Last Revelation. Because where obviously with Last Revelation it's just all solely based in Egypt, which is one of the reasons why it's my favourite. Yeah, see with three, I think with three I just found it too difficult and it really frustrated me. Like when, um, because I was trying, wasn't I, to play all the Tomb Raiders for my um, Lorian Gaming channel. And, uh, and yeah, I just could, I, I did like the first few, or I, I, I got through the first two India levels and then I got really stuck because like I was heavily pregnant at the time and I was just like, I, I've got no idea what I'm doing. I just got really impatient with it and just gave up. And then obviously we had like Shadow coming out, so I wanted to play the uh, reboot games like in the build up to it. But I plan on playing them all for the channel eventually, so. <laughs> okay, I, I did love the atmosphere though. Um, and just like the lighting and everything that they they got with uh, Tomb Raider three, I think they just they just went mad with it. 
I think this is just one like I'll just pick up um, like casually for a stream because obviously every Sunday at the moment I'll, I'll have like a set game that I'm playing. So obviously at the moment I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so then once I finish that I'm thinking I might go on to the Assassin's Creed games because I'm just using like the streams and my channel just to catch up on all the gaming that I've missed since being a mum. So uh, so that's the plan because I'm thinking I'll just use like the streams for open world games and stuff. But I think it's nice if ever I get an opportunity to do like one off streams like this. I'll just be picking up like a Tomb Raider game or something. Cause it's just nice to be able to just chill out and chat. Like I'm really enjoying this at the moment, just being able to chat with everyone. And you don't really get to do that when you record it because you just have to make the conversation up as you go. Like, yeah, like when the uh, the lights come through the trees in India. I always used to think that was so so beautiful, the way they did that. And, like, the mist. So it's just like doing this, so I can dive off again. Pew! Oh, nearly hit my head. I'm not too bad recording. I think I've done it enough now that I'm not so bad. But I think it's actually, if anything, it's helped me with my streams. Because obviously if I've got no one chatting in the chat room, then I can just keep talking, like doing a running commentary or whatever. But, um, but yeah, it's still quite difficult sometimes if you're like, in, like you're having a bit of a meh day and you just don't really, you're not in the mood to chat. It's really hard to sort of get yourself to talk to yourself. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm definitely getting getting the hang of it now. I'm just I I don't know what I'm gonna be like when I play uh, Last of Us Two though for the channel. I can imagine I'm gonna be just this one big ball of stress. <laughs> but that's one I'm definitely I would love to stream, but there's no way I I don't want to risk um, streaming. Last of Us 2 because I just know that I'm just going to get people in the chat just spoiling it for me. So I'd rather just record it and turn the comments off so like people can just enjoy it along with me then. Yes, I'm, I, well I'm sure you might even be able to get a collector's edition because the amount of people that apparently are cancelling their pre-orders and boycotting the game, which is just stupid in my opinion. But Whee! See, I tend, to, I tend to go around the houses just to do like funny little things that I used to do, love doing when I was little. <laughs> hey. Into the next level. Like I said, this is where I start to, to lag a bit, guys. Again, Rosie, a room full of colour. It just, you know, AJ, um, Rosie was uh, thinking the first level was a bit grey. Very much the same colour all through. So I was just saying there is colour actually in the game later on. Yeah. I have not saved the game. I probably should. <laughs> I don't tend to die in this level, although I'm saying that. See, now you've got me paranoid. How do I save? Is it here? Yes, there you go. Like saying that, yeah, I'm pretty sure like, when I went to record this level for my channel, I, um, I died on one of the uh, spike pits. And was like, I'm going to have to start this level from the beginning. <laughs> them in order so um after play or 
recently I've just I think because I've seen a lot of people talking about like Legend and Anniversary and Underworld I'm like really in the mood to play them as well I know I don't think like much of them like I do the originals but yeah because I haven't, I haven't I don't think I've played them since I actually bought them pretty much Anniversary I never completed Underworld I never completed Legend I did because it was piss easy Yeah. Are they wearing the exact same t-shirt? Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the, the spike pit I fell on. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't believe I did that. That was such an amateur move. I just remember my friend spending, the, he came to stay with us one weekend and he spent the entire weekend playing through Underworld. And then he got to like the very last bit in Mexico, I think when he was on a motorbike. And uh, <laughs> and he got to like a trap and the trap didn't um, activate or something. So it meant that he, uh, he couldn't move on and he couldn't go back. He couldn't restart the level or anything. So he, he just completely lost the entire game. And I don't think he's picked up the game since. And this is what I a year or two after it came out, I think. I don't even think Reboot was out by this time. Oh, can you? Oh, brilliant. I'd love to play the DLC. Is it any good, though? Because I never really hear people talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> See, this would be the bit where I get confused, guys, because it's all the which, which switch to pull. Where am I going? Right, so that's back that way. And I'll pull this switch first. So this this one's done. It's the last room I think that I always struggle with. Yeah, that one's done. Beep. Right, so then it's this room. The chicken room. I think that actually just looks like a chicken. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, because there's like all these switches to pull. I uh, never know which one needs to be pulled first or which one needs to be ignored. So I'm going to ignore it first and see where this takes me. DLC is better than the game, blimey. Although it's not saying much to be fair. <laughs> I can't even remember where I got up to in um, Underworld. It's been so long since I played it. Anniversary I got up to Atlantis I think it's just the wall runs I could no I got in I think I just nearly finished Egypt but I just got so frustrated with the bloody wall runs I was just like no I can't I can't be bothered <laughs> I can't be bothered anymore I hate them <laughs> so I never was able to get the hang of them I'll probably still be the same now so it would be like my uh my next playthrough will be like, I hate them. And just be laughing at me, stressing. Now, do I go down here? I do, don't I? Yeah, because I jumped across there. So, yeah. Don't tell me I've actually done this right at first go. Yeah, your, your granddad's awesome. I thought that he actually tried to play Tomb Raider on the Wii. What else was it he played? He played like, um, uh, 
when a zombie one was it? It was like a bit. It was like a hack and slash one. That was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Uh, where am I going now? So that one's been moved across. So do I now move this one? Manhunter, that was it. I was like, I know there's an M in there and I know there's an H in there. And I was thinking, Hunter? Hunter? Is that the game Hunter? It's like, no, it's Manhunter. <laughs> That's it. So then I go up here. Yes. Yes. What? I was going to say, don't you dare fall. <laughs> I can't believe I actually got that right first go. I am shocked. And quite smug with myself. Hi, mummy. Yay! Yeah, that's another one I was thinking of live streaming, actually. I've got a war, because I think it would just be too long for me to record. Uh, back up here, isn't it? <laughs> Wait till I get to the next um, level, Rosie, then I won't be so smug. Oh, does this mean when I get to, to the next bit, I just thought that the music's not going to play? Uh, don't know how many secrets I've missed along here. I oh, know there's one along here. Ow. Oh, right. So this one. Yay. Right. God, yeah, no, yeah, I've, I've only just realised that. No save crystals. Mm. Oh, I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. Sorry, guys. There you go. Because I know my mum's going to ring at any moment because that's what she does. I don't know what that was, that was like a half hour sneeze right there. <laughs> Have you never got that secret before? Uh, it's very Indiana Jones moment. Yeah, so there should be like that music playing. Oh really? <laughs> Am I the, <laughs> the only person that does that one? <laughs> uh, it's just not the same without the music. We Right, quick, quick, quick. Hidey ho, hidey ho, hidey ho. There you go. <laughs> is there like a mod we can get that we can have the music playing because I really miss the music <laughs> or should I just have like the soundtrack playing in the background and just press play when the when I need, I need the uh, appropriate song <laughs> am I just reminding people how to play this game <laughs> So I'm going to need my... Do I want the shotgun? 
I think I want the shotgun because he's quite vicious, isn't he? His gun's quite powerful. There you go. Done. Done. Well, you have my total attention now. Chili. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours though. Hello. I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. Yeah, oh, thanks, AJ. Dribbling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your. Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! You ain't fast. She is like the perfect Lara so for me, Shelley. All this talking is just holding me up. I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. Does she? That would have, oh, that would have been amazing. I said I do love, um... Thank you. I will. Now, I do love, uh... Keely Hawes as an actor, but for me she's just not Lara. <laughs> Welcome to 1996 graphics, Rosie. <laughs> this was realistic for the time. Oh, now you get to see another badass uh, Lara move. Whee! Yes, it looks so bad, doesn't it? I was saying that earlier, just how bad it looks. Now to St. Francis's Folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow, fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiopia, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean skill, the pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers, powers beyond the creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you, you little survive. bug. See, even then, Lara cared for the environment. Has it gone a bit weird? Like a bit zoomed in on Lara. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's sorted it. Where did the lion go? There he is. And was that it? I just paused it and it seemed to come out, so we're good. It's got a strange soundtrack on it as well. Sorry, just need to remove the headphones. Yeah, it's got a bit of a strange soundtrack. This sounds more like um, Last Revelation. I don't remember like a wind blowing uh, tune being on this one. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm slowly starting to learn that with uh, PC games. So I'm halfway through my stream. Who thinks we're going to make it through St. Francis Folly in time? Again, I don't know where all the secrets are in this level, so... No, 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 no. I didn't want you to move that. 
Yeah, I just don't ever remember this one, like, because I used to listen to the CD, like, all the time. <laughs> um. There was stuff up here or not. Yeah, I used to love it. That was like my thing. As soon as I got a CD playing in my room, I was like, oh, I can listen to the Tomb Raider soundtrack. I think that's what got me into like loving the um loving gaming soundtracks. Like to listen to to relax. I need to whoop. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> Was it? In my day, women had edges, not curves. <laughs> Bloody Pierre. Meh. Right. Can I go up from here? It's not a very good secret because it actually pops through the uh, the pillar. <laughs> they still do. It just depends how cold it is, uh, AJ. <laughs> Can I get this one? Yay. So there's one that I know where it is, but I can just never get to it because I always miss time the jump. It's the one just before you go into the water with the crocodile. Is it, is it this one that's coming up? I think actually. Yeah. yeah, this one. I could never get it. Because I always miss time it. Because you have to hit your head, didn't you? I'd leave it right till the last minute. No. I either fall in or I jump too early. It's always the way when I play. Yeah, because then you come out here, I think, didn't you? So you actually bypass the water completely. Yeah, um, I think AJ mentioned that one. Or maybe it was... Uh... I know a lot of people were talking about a lot of mods. <laughs> like I was saying... Um, with uh, this, this is just like a casual live stream that I'm doing, but what I will eventually do is actually record this probably for my channel. So then by then I will hopefully have got all the mods I need. Um, I'll have updated the um, recording equipment that I use because I'm going to get a newer version of the Elgato because um, one I've got now is like eight years old or something. So it's just working. Um, and yeah, so it will actually be quite nice to, to play for for the channel. <laughs> I was going to say, Rosie, welcome to all my Tomb Raider friends. <laughs> now this Rosie is a, it's quite a famous level um, in terms of for, for Tomb Raider games for the franchise because it's such a big level. It's absolutely massive. I don't know if um, I probably should have shown you from the from the top i don't know if i can get back up to the top from here might be able to there you go yeah so this is the entire level like it's absolutely massive and i think it was such a big thing for the time like if you think like games beforehand had just been all like 2d and just really simple and just left to right sort of thing so this just was absolutely massive and then there's rooms behind 
like what you like you flip the switches on all the different levels and you open all these different doors it is pretty epic yes all right what did he you'll have to um, regale us with some of those tales uh tom I can hear you, I just can't see you. Oh, you're there. Oh, you're bugging out in the wall. That's fine. I can just go about my day. Thor, yep. Yeah. Even though this is in Greece, so it's meant to have, uh, <laughs> meant to be all Greek names. No, no. Alright. I'll flick this one while I'm here. Damocles. So that's that one, isn't it? Go over there and get that first. This is where you see my... <laughs> the way I play this level is just all over the place. It depends where I end up when I jump. <laughs> if I don't die, <laughs> I'll be like, oh, I can do this level now. So it's four rooms, I think, isn't it? I'm trying to remember the names of each of the rooms. Um, but yeah, this is the Damocles room. I think you can just run through here at the moment. You think it's easy, but oh wait. <laughs> Let's just get some of the bits up here. Again, I can thank this game for making me want to explore every inch of a game to know where all the secrets secrets are. So slowly. just rude. What? Uh, just realised I can't see my health bar. That's worrying. <laughs> Maybe I should check. Ah, not too bad. Done. Okay. Oh, and there's one there. And fleek that to each. Can I jump from there though? I'm too scared that I might like bash my head and then fall. Must be a safer place to jump from, wouldn't it? Neptune. Something's back at the top. Jump here. Can I jump onto that because there's a medipack on there? I think I have to jump from higher up, don't I? Yeah, the Thor room. Yay! The room where like it takes half your health. <laughs> I hate this room. And when I play it on um, PlayStation, it's normally so dark. Nope. Come on, keep pushing. <laughs> I 
I think it's just to show like the contrast for when um, the lightning strikes. But yeah, this this room obviously just doesn't really have a lot of light at all. Oh god, yeah, Tomb Raider um, three does really well. But again, I think it's just the way they did the lighting as well. So many different like, layers to it. No. This is the only problem, it just takes so long to push blocks and you're like... It's like the basis of the puzzle is pushing all these blocks. I always got this. I think that's the one thing as well. I don't think they've been able to capture with the with the new games is just judging the jumps. Like this one, you're like, oh, am I gonna make it? Oh, I just gotta, yeah. <laughs> Ta da! So it's two keys. We're halfway through. Are we gonna finish St Francis Folly? I think we might actually finish St Francis Folly. Da -da. Da -da. So I got struck by lightning again. How's my health? Meh. Mm -hmm. I'll survive. I'll just take a medipack just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently I've been inspiring a lot of people with running it's good to know making you all healthy get off your asses and do stuff although I've not been able to convince Jay but <laughs> getting there we've been on we've been on a few walks <laughs> I hear you. There you are. <gasps> Pierre, you bastard. Where are you? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I had a bit of a shitty, like, the last two were a bit crap. I think it, I, I just blame that hill. There's like a, like where I parked my car up, there's a, like, it's a really old fort. Um, that uh, like it's like 200 years old or whatever so it's a really nice area to go running because it's right on the river and it's actually quite close to where Elizabeth I did her um her big motivational speech if anyone knows about that one um when the Spanish Armada were trying to invade England and uh and she made her like empowered speech about I may not I may have the body of a weak and feeble woman but I have the heart and stomach of a king of England or whatever it was she said but yeah she actually made that quite close to that fort and um it's a really lovely place to run that's why I love running there and uh but yeah it's it's kind of on this hill and if you start running on that hill it just knocks you out completely and I think because I just wanted to get the hill out of the way rather than trying to do it at the end um yeah it just completely killed me so so it really screwed up my last two runs but today I just missed the hill out completely because I thought well if I feel like it I'll do it at the end but I just could not do it so um so in the end yeah I just completely missed out the hill so I didn't do 4k but I did just under because I did a lap of the car park <laughs> it's quite steep yeah um the first time I, I did it, it's a really steep hill. But then if you go the other way around, it's a gradual, it's like a more gradual um, incline. But um, but it still absolutely killed me. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, yeah, so I've decided I'll, I'll, even though I hate doing it at the end of the run, um, if I can, if I feel like I can do it, then I will do it. What? I forgot you can't do the roll in this, uh... Ah, oh, damn it, where am I? 
No, 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 you can't make mistakes on this one. I don't want to drown. Who has some awesome pants? Me or <laughs> Lara? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Come on, come on, am I gonna make it? Yeah, it's um I've always loved running, but I've never really had the opportunity to run. Like when we lived um the other side of London, like in Epsom, um you couldn't we couldn't really run where our house was, it just weren't a great area. Um not that it was dangerous or anything, it was just not a great area for running. So um so yeah, so I never really found that motivation to keep it up but where we are now it is i mean we live in quite a concretey area but um you drive a few minutes or run a few minutes out of it and you're surrounded by green so uh so yeah, it's quite a good motivator to actually get out and get some fresh air especially at the moment <laughs> lara's pants are awesome whoa i'm so lucky there <laughs> Uh. <gasps> Will you just go away? Oh my god! Where did I last save? <laughs> I can't believe Pierre just killed me of all the things. It's because I can't see the bloody um No No I can't believe that Guys <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to like at the end of the console version that it just saves each level. So I was like, no, it's fine. I'll just start at the beginning of the level. Nope. <laughs> That's my fault. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. For those of you that turned up a bit later, you get to see this bit. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I am shocked. <laughs> it is. It's just, this is just 90s gaming. You just have to deal with it. Suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, AJ. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that. How long have I got? So I'm definitely not going to be doing St. Francis Folly in the next 40 minutes, am I? For God's sake. <laughs> well, I've learnt my lesson. Uh. I'm going to be quiet now because I just want to try and get it back. Oh, you can just do F5. I'll remember that for next time. Uh. See, now I'm going to be all over the place. I'm going to keep fucking up. <laughs> what, F5? There you go. Oh, F6 to, sh to, to load save game. Try not to do that then. I'll try to make sure I press the right button. <laughs> go down here, don't I? 
Yeah. Um, can I jump up here? Yeah. See, I'm going to forget, like, where I got to that bit where I, I was all smug and did it first time, even though I wasn't sure what I was doing. And I'm going to completely forget how I did it. So it's going to take me ages. So I'm going to be stuck on Team Aqualopec. <laughs> So I don't touch that one just yet. Yeah, I think I, um, Ash needs to take a take a breather. He's been so unbelievably busy and stressed with all the Dark Angel stuff. So he needs a well-deserved rest. Be honest, I think it's more that he just wants he needs to just take time out for himself, so I love all the little noises that Lara makes of it, it's so funny. <laughs> Can I jump down here? Yeah, I think it's just a matter of just giving him a breather. I'm sure he'll be fine once his uh once he's had that break. Mm-hmm. They really, really did. I can't remember if I was supposed to jump on that one. No, I went as well. No. <laughs> Just mumbling to myself. Yeah, they worked so hard on it. It was a real passion project for them. And they did so, so well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the documentary. <laughs> well done, AG, though. Whoop, nearly. That's one of the ones I'm really looking forward to playing as well. Uh, for the channels, Angel of Darkness, I haven't picked that up in forever. Again, it's a bit difficult to play when it's um, when my PS3 isn't backwards compatible. My old one used to be, but the new one isn't. Or newer one. And they playing Dire Straits outside. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> This way? Yep. Follow the Velociraptor. Oh, I thought, I thought that was your death yell. <laughs> it really is. It was like, me and Jay were talking about it the other day and just saying it was so before its time. I can't remember what game got us onto the conversation, but yeah, we compared it to Angel of Darkness. And it was just like, yeah. Tragically, it was just before its time. Like I said, like when you look at games now and like the day one patches that you get and things like that, like if Angel of Darkness was made now, it wouldn't have like been such an issue.
Oh, the Indiana Jones moment again. So I don't mind too much playing this <laughs> this level again. Uh, oh, I just miss the music. It needs to have the exciting music. It just doesn't feel the same. Yeah, that's why I'm like... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Got it playing in my head. So hopefully I won't have that issue or at least I know how to solve it if I get that um like the zoom in um when I start St Francis Folly because I'll save then. Quickly save now. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Don't load. Yay, yeah, Shelly! Get to hear Shelly again. Sure yours, Hello? Oh, thank you. I think it helps with the people that are in the chat as well. Yeah, Rosie, you're really missing out on the soundtrack. It's such a good soundtrack. That's one thing. Team Raider has been really good up until the reboot with uh, its music. And where is that? Ha! You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natla. Thank you. I will. Okay, right. Do people want to watch this again or would you rather me skip it? I don't know how, like how many people actually saw saw this and would like to see it again. I will play it to you later. <laughs> or you can go and listen to it. It's actually on Spotify. I think. Or the, the newer version. Because it was uh, redone recently. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea actually. <laughs> Yeah, look up, um, I think the first one's just Tomb Raider Suite, isn't it? Like, people can confirm that for me if not. Yeah, so you've got Tomb Raider Suite, which was mainly Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider 2 and some of Tomb Raider 3. Now to St. Francis's Folly and, um, but then you've got Tomb Raider Dark Angel, which is, um, the later games, which is the one that's been done most recently, and that's absolutely amazing as well. If anything, it's actually better than the, uh, the sweet remake. The Atlantean Skion, the pendants divided and shared between the three rules, which curves... I was going to say Brad mode. <laughs> powers beyond the creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I... Good on you, Rosie. I think you like it, because I think you do like that sort of... It's not as epic as, um... A Skyrim, like we went to we went to see uh, the Skyrim uh, live, didn't we? That was amazing. But uh, yeah, it's not as epic as that. There we go. Quickly stand on here. All right, let's see if that will help. There you go. Right. So I'll save. There we go. So hopefully Pierre doesn't kill me again. Awesome. <laughs> um, 
it's not no it's not floofy at all it's it's more i think with um tomb raider one music it's just really like uh just quite simple and just adds to the atmosphere See, so um, like, uh, Last Revelations. That's good to know, whoever that is. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. Last Revelation soundtrack is one of my favourites, um, actually, other than, like, obviously Angel of Darkness. You can tell I'm flagging a bit. I'm like, Bleh. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I have a feeling um, Dark Angel will be more your thing, Rosie. Excellent, Rosie. Excellent choice. <laughs> Definitely. I'd love to hear, know what you think. We're teaching you the ways of Tomb Raider. Did I even get him? And you're stuck in the wall. Oh, I thought you were dead. Stop wasting my bullets. Oh yeah, AJ is very busy. <laughs> Some would say too busy, AJ. You need to slow down. You no, know, take time out for yourself. I do know. <laughs> All too well. At least you're doing the stuff you love. Where'd you go? There you are. What's French for arsehole? Because that's what he is. French and an arsehole. <laughs> yes. Platforming. <laughs> did I not get a monkey? How did I miss you? I did get all the switches, didn't I? I can't even remember anymore. Pretty sure I did. I don't know, meld in, uh, in French. No, meld in uh, French and Scheiser in German. <laughs> See, yeah, we're, we're learning languages on this stream as well now. <laughs> See, who says it's not uh, educational? <laughs> again, I'm going to try and get that secret and again, I'm going to miserably fail. One does not simply swear in one language, I think is the uh, more appropriate term. 
Uh, I'm gonna get it! Ah, oh, no. Get out the way. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Mm-hmm. It's a very mixed up language. I was, uh, when I went to college, I studied English literature and um, we read uh, the Canterbury Towers um, for Geoffrey Chaucer. I can't think of the name of the Wife of Bath, that was the one. We read that one in the original English text because my um, my English tutor, well, he was my English tutor and he was also my classics tutor. He could speak Greek, Latin and Old English and like he was just so passionate about it. It's one of the reasons why I've uh, I learned so much about Greek art. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Where's the F5 button? <laughs> right. Okay, so that was the Thor one, wasn't it? Where am I? See, that's, that's, I don't know if anyone saw that pad over there. I can never get that, like the tiles. I can never, ooh, <laughs> I can never get those tiles. I can hear a bat, but I can't see it. Yeah, I need to get into the habit of saving. Damn you. Right. Oh, nothing can jump too soon, didn't I? Yep. Oh, that was close. <laughs> What would I do without you guys telling me to say? like how she like sort of blends into the block and I'm so used to playing this on um, console where it may be a bit more pixelated it's not as smooth a, like the textures aren't as smooth as on here but at least she didn't like melt into the block <laughs> I'm more worried about her her poor face and those boobs Probably why they're so pointy, it's just like sanding them on all these different edges. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Bibs. That was all about the bibs. Oh. Got a key. Save. <laughs> right. Oh. It was it's those jumps that just make me just clench that little bit. That's <laughs> it. You don't really get that with the uh, new ones. I actually didn't get struck by lightning. Oh my god. I'm obviously getting better. <laughs> Can I make that jump to get over there and get that medipack? Damn it! No. Alright, okay. Yes, 
Yeah, no, there's all those tiles. I think, don't you jo jump from like... Go away! You're not going to kill me this time. I can't believe I actually let Pierre kill me. I think it's because I couldn't, I couldn't see the uh, health bar. I wasn't aware how low my health was. That has never happened before and I was so embarrassed. I will never live that down. Hello! Yeah, I was always told that, like, because I, I read so many walkthroughs when I was younger, I was like, how do I defeat this game? And um, and I remember it saying, like, as long as you don't jump onto the tiles, like the silver tiles, you shouldn't get hit by lightning. But, like, every single time I always get hit by lightning. <laughs> uh, can I jump from there? I can't remember. I'll jump to there. But then there's... Oh, okay. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's my common Essex accent, you see. No, no, no. Stop being an arsehole. Not too bad, apart from the fact that I've I had to learn how to save the hard way. And that I... I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pierre killed me, which is like the first to happen in like... a. Don't even remember the last time I let Pierre kill me. Oh, he's just such an arsehole. Right, um, where am I going? See, now you've got me all flustered. Ah, there, 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 there. Stairs. I kicked um, Larson's ass in the last uh, last level. Well, first time of kicking his ass, anyway. I won't be um, having the final showdown with him in this uh, stream. <laughs> I'll be lucky if I finish St. Francis Folly in this stream. No, stop shooting at me! Please one. Aha. Uh -huh. Can go across and get you. It's because I'm playing uh, in DOSBox because it's the only way we could get it to work. One on this PC, and two um, with my recording equipment, um, and that it wouldn't crash. So. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is the first time and it was really last minute for me to actually decide to play the game um, and live stream it. So, because uh, normally I play it on console. So yeah, this is very new for me. Um, I might do another live stream again of it, like in the in the future, because I've, I've found this, uh, this stream to be quite fun. So, very fun, actually, other than me dying and losing a lot of... Uh, <laughs> lot of game time but um but yeah so hopefully by the next time I play it will I'll have uh, sorted it all out so it will actually look a lot nicer on the stream rather than just this like small window no because I didn't know about it until today <laughs> so uh, so yeah I'm gonna look into mods and things after after the stream's finished or whatever. So next, like I said, next time, next time I play. Oh, you mean the, um, for the stream, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm just like trying to read your comments as well as play it, playing at the same time. But yeah, um, we're going to look into mods for the possible next time of me live streaming this game.
me. I can't. <laughs> I can't even see where I'm going. All right. Well, I did better than last time. Where do I go now? If I missed one. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, hey, Louis. You've joined me at a very, like, great point. <laughs> Just died. <laughs> oh, God. At least I'm, like, further in now. <laughs> Oh, my God. Lara is a cruel mistress. <laughs> I hope you have. <laughs> I think I'm getting just a bit... Ah, oh, got me again. Right, okay. It's just Pierre. He's being an arsehole. It's like if he would just leave me alone, then I wouldn't keep dying. It's getting me all flustered. And obviously I've had to close my windows because my neighbours are being noisy because obviously good weather, everyone's outside like weird people. Um, where am I going? I don't remember where I'm going. I haven't done Democles yet, no. Go away. Right. Ah, is this it? No. Ah, there's a switch at least. Okay. Are you down there, you bastard? Are you not down there yet? Oh, there you are. I think I just need to keep shooting at you until you go away because you're just really annoying me. Right, if I jump across maybe. Pierre is a dick. I hate Pierre. See, and now I've got bats after me. Oh. See, now he's gone. Right, okay. And get these bats, and then flick that switch. While I'm down here. Here we go. Atlas room. Yes, I'm going to save that. <laughs> Thank you, people, for reminding me. All right. I think the only one I haven't opened... Have I opened them all now? I can't remember if I've opened them all. Right, and then across here. And across that. And that. No, because I haven't been in the Damocles room, so I need to open the Damocles door. Or S the Damocles switch. That's at the top, isn't it? So I do that one on my way to Neptune. Oh, I didn't think she was going to jump there. <laughs> no, I can't remember secrets in this game or in this level. I remember like all the secrets for the first four levels, and then that's as far as my knowledge goes. Um, I did try to get the le the secret at the beginning of the level. Um where you're on that slope and you have to get like time your jump just right. <laughs> you're an angry child. <laughs> I'm an angry adult, so I'm surprised I got this far. Then, <laughs> um, where are you? So annoying. The bats are like the uh, like when you hear the um, battle music in Skyrim, but you don't know where it's coming from. I don't want to uh, roll. Okay, so roll off the edge. There you go.
yeah, definitely would be able to throw it. I wouldn't have any news, no, because I don't work on, on the Tomb Raider games. <laughs> I'm married to someone who does, but again, if I had any of that, like, or if he had any information, he wouldn't be able to tell me anyway, so. not the sort of um, information they can they can really give away without getting in lots of trouble with their bosses so come on now there isn't anything that's been announced so don't worry <laughs> It's one of those things, isn't it, though? Everyone knows it's coming, they just don't know when or... It's like it's just a common courtesy when they actually tell us that um, it's official, they're working on it. And then that's when it all starts all over again. Did I flick the switch for the Democles room? No, it's there. Now I see it. And I will save... So I had a brain fart for a second then I was like, what am I even doing? <laughs> Where am I? Why am I here? Yeah, hopefully. Though I don't mind... Um... See, I, go, I keep going to say Earl, but that's the voice actor. I don't mind uh, Jonah so much. <sighs> Good thing I saved just before that. <laughs> I'm misjudging her jumps. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> just like, I regret nothing! So I just don't know how to get that bloody midi pack. Every time I try to get it, it's either not high enough or too high and I die. <laughs> Yeah, I love Earl. He's so cute. Gives you the biggest bear hugs. <laughs> right, so I'm not going to... Can I... Yeah, I can lower myself down. So I've done the Thor room and I've done Neptune, so I just need to do Democles and Atlas. And I've got six minutes in which to do that. To be honest, because I'm like, I'm pretty close to the end so what I might do is just finish it anyway because I don't really I hate leaving a level unfinished <laughs> so you never know we'll see what comes first we'll see if I can complete it in the next six minutes which I highly doubt <laughs> do it <laughs> Yeah, I think it just, like, says a lot, doesn't it, when this is probably one of the biggest gaming franchises, like, in history, pretty much. I wasn't looking where I was going. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's one of the biggest franchises going, one of the most famous franchises going. And yet, the original, the one that made it what it is has just been so neglected that we have to rely on the fans to actually make it that it's even playable these days and I just think that is just it's just rude <laughs> 
don't worry, tea is uh, quite simple and quick tonight. <laughs> Life of a gaming mum, as soon as I'm off this stream, I have to go and make dinner. <laughs> Lion. That's the thing, I think we should. I, I just think with Crystal, they just have this like serious insecurity about the fact that like um that they think that people are gonna prefer the classic game to their to theirs. They're like, oh, well it's our our um our franchise now. Why should we have to uh like worry about the, the ones that have been before? Well it's like well if you if you didn't have the one that had been before you then you wouldn't have a bloody franchise in the first place. So I think they need to give it a bit more respect. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> I thought there was two. Unless, unless it, the second one comes later, because I still need to go in the Atlas room, don't I? How many keys have I got? I've got three, so I just need the Atlas one. Where is the Atlas room? Have I completely like just bypassed it? See, I'm doing all this chatting. And I'm not concentrating on where all the doors are. Says so Thor. Oh, you're so no, you're coming around for like takeaway and board games, Rosie. It's like we we have so many. We need to like keep like what's the word? Um. Make up for lost time. Ah, there's the Atlas room. Uh, shotgun. Yeah, love Project Zero. AJ can tell ya. <laughs> oh, now how do I do this? I'm going to save here, because for some reason my brain is a bit foggy about how to do this one. I think I just fall down that hole, didn't I? Uh, but, hey! Oh my god, the Angel of Darkness um, board game is so fun. Um, we went to Ash of uh team of ash fame um we went to his birthday party um a number of years ago and he actually had the team raider angel of darkness board game and it yeah i just really really enjoyed it i was a bit cynical at first i was like oh, how can you really make a board game out of a out of a team raider game but yeah i thought it was really fun yeah for those that um that have watched the video of us playing um the latest Team Raider board game. Rosie is the uh, is the friend of us that uh, that endured <laughs> endured that game. <laughs> um, if you're able to pick it up, I'd highly recommend it. I'd probably recommend it more than the latest one, to be honest. Although it was it was quite fun. I think you have to play it with the right people, and luckily we have we have great friends and we have great great bands as we're playing. I hear ya. Oh. The timer won. I'm two hours in. But not much left to do. I think probably just another shootout with... <laughs> Where did I save? Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. No. No. Yep, and then I just keep bloody dying. <laughs> I don't know what it is with these headphones. They really push into the top of my head and it really hurts. 
Okay, I will finish this game. <laughs> this level. <laughs> Yeah, I've got all the keys now. Now I've just had to re-pick up the Atlas one. I'll get out the room and then I'm going to save again. So then I don't die from just like carelessly walking off a ledge. What? Oh, no. Lara's having a moment, guys. Oh. <laughs> um, right, one sec. <laughs> the keys got stuck. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I drew my weapon and it did nothing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if you hear like crying in the background, it's just because Bubs has woke up and he's probably hungry. Save. Right. I think I've seen that bug like once before. So I was kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, right. I should plan these jumps carefully and not just run and jump everywhere. Right. Yep, I hear ya. No, don't want you. See, it's great having you guys around because I've I've got no clue what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so you being here really helps because <laughs> otherwise I'd be just sat there twirling for ages. Um. Okay, that's everything. We're there, guys. Again, I didn't get. Did I even get any secrets? I don't think I've got any secrets. I'm just glad I survived the level. <laughs> oh, you're building another level. How many have you done now, Tom? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you for coming. It's really nice to see everyone. Oh, thank you. I mean, that's the thing. It'd be, I'd really like to do these sort of like one-off streams again, but um, it's when we get the time, because um, cause obviously like my husband's working from home at the moment, and uh, the only real time I get to stream at the moment. See, I've got no secrets on that one. <laughs> no, the only time I really get to stream um, at the moment is on a Sunday, and because I I really want to finish. Um, Final Fantasy 7 remake before I stream anything else so uh, but I do want to record um, all the Tomb Raiders for my channel so I will go get like mod sorted and everything um, but um, but yeah I, w I do like doing like these one-off streams it is quite nice to just come on and do them but yay I managed to finish St Francis fully <laughs> and that wouldn't see if I'd been like decent enough like when I first started playing it I would have finished it well within the two hours and we could have played a bit of Colosseum but no I had to die like numerous times yeah I know Final Fantasy 7 will take a while but anyway yeah thanks everyone for joining that was really really good fun I really enjoyed that despite all the dying it was really nice to just chat with everyone and Rosie I hope you enjoyed your ed education on uh, Team Raider and um, I'm sure that education will continue further <laughs> 
um but yeah if uh you guys um don't know about my channel you've got my channel confessions of a gaming mum obviously you've got me here on twitch um i've got my facebook page i'm on twitter as well so if you don't um know about them i think there's probably links somewhere on my um on my twitch somewhere uh but yeah <laughs> But yeah, thanks everyone for, for coming along and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. So, uh, so yeah, bye. Oh yes, and stay home and stay safe. <laughs>